All right, so Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury has been given interviews with several different platforms over the course of the time. Obviously, we know he had the press conference with Francis Ngannou yesterday. And I just want to quote what he said here with Fight Hub TV um, with regards to the undisputed fight. When he was asked if the undisputed fight is no longer his priority, he says, Has it ever been my priority? Did I ever say I wanted undisputed? It's always been some other little something's dream. If he takes a small percentage, we might make it happen. But if he wants a large bag, I'm going to say, no, thank you. I think Francis Ngannou is going to be a tougher challenge than those other guys. Those other guys are just boxers. This guy's more than that. He goes on to say, um, I'm onto the big fights. Francis Ngannou, John Jones, I want challenges. I don't want easy baits. They're all bums, the boxers. I've already proved myself as the best boxer that ever lived. Now I'm going to prove myself as the best fighting man who ever lived. And he also had something to say about Anthony Joshua. When asked, will the fight happen? He says, there's no Joshua fight to me. He's a gym sweeper who gets beat up. He's like an old journeyman now. If you're a decent heavyweight and you want to beat someone up, call him out. Nah, never gonna happen. Ha <laughs> ha, right. So basically, for the people who've been saying that no, Tyson Fury did want Undisputed and that it's Team Alexander Usyk who are ducking him, well, there it is from the horse's mouth. I mean, it's basically it. He's saying that he won't fight Alexander Usyk unless Usyk takes a greatly reduced purse, which Alexander Usyk did actually agree to do. He actually stated that 70 30 he accepted on the basis that Tyson Fury donated a million pounds to Ukraine. And Tyson Fury, a man of the people, the man who donates his purse, no, he wasn't going to do that. He wasn't going to do that. So basically saying that he's not going to go for undisputed, basically saying that Anthony Joshua is no good, despite the fact, yeah, Joshua's lost three times, but you haven't beaten him, saying that Alexander Usek is no good, but despite the fact you won't fight him, and you're basically saying here that unless he takes a a minuscule purse even though you've looked for insane purses off the Saudis which they said was worth more than well even the fight was worth and Alexander Usyk wanted you still won't take that fight you're saying Francis Ngannou who's never had a professional boxing match in his life has no boxing real experience is a more challenging opponent than him or any of the contenders so you're basically saying you won't be fighting the contenders and you're also saying you're the best boxer who ever lived based upon what Tyson Fury you've had six world title fights treat him against the same guy you've not fought Alexander Usyk you've not fought Joshua you've not fought Filip Perkovic you've not fought Arsenal back Makhmanov you've not fought Zilli Zhang you've not fought Andy Ruiz you've not fought back of the Jalalov Derrick Anderson etc 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 how can you turn around and say all these things about yourself say that you're the best who's ever lived you're the best fighter of this area you're the best fighter of all time when you've not gone out and proved it the gas lighting with Tyson Fury is off the Richter scale and it is it's crazy it's absolutely disgraceful that the WBC haven't stripped this is a guy who's admitting here basically that he doesn't want to fight the contenders and he doesn't want to fight Alexander Rusek so why are the WBC letting him keep the title if he's no intention of defending it? Realist, that's what he said. He's no intention of defending it. Or maybe he might defend it against Chisora for a fourth time. Maybe against someone minuscule who the WBC will kindly put in the rankings. But in terms of fighting contenders, in terms of unifying undisputed with Alexander Usyk, in terms of fighting guys like Anthony Joshua, according to Tyson Fury, he doesn't need to. Well, you do need to, Tyson. You do. Because you can't go around saying you're the best who's ever lived if you haven't proved it you've not fought the top guys in your division you've not done that you're saying you don't have to because they've lost you haven't beaten them though they, they have lost Anthony Joshua has lost but you haven't beaten them you haven't you know Zilli Zhang has lost but you weren't the one who inflicted that loss so who's to say if you fought him you'd win you could say well I'm the best so I think I, I'm sure I'd win yeah but until you do that we don't know do we you know, it's easy to say, you know, I think if I was in this situation, this is how I'd react. Well, it's easy to say that until you're in it, right? Once you're in it, different story. This is disgraceful. This really is. And I think that with the WBC, they're giving him carte blanche to do whatever the hell he wants. And they really, truly are. It's an absolute disgrace. It really is. And I think 
you know, with Tyson Fury, I'm seeing it more and more. Fans really turning on him. And he's doing it himself, you know. I think with Tyson Fury, for the longest time, fans have given him a pass. And they have given him a pass. They've given him a pass on some of the things he says. At times in his career, when he's retracted, or he's gone back, I should say, on things he said. And, you know, said he's going to do this and then done the opposite. I think at times we kind of... Because I know myself, I did at times say, okay, look, maybe there is a meta to the madness. You know, maybe he's got something bigger planned in the sense of something that really is bigger, not Francis Ngannou. And it's not come, it's not to come to fruition. And I think now at this stage, when he has a title, he should at least be fighting contenders, but he's not doing that. Now fans, and they can see clearly what's happening. Now fans are saying enough's enough, right? Enough is enough. Now he'll always have those fans, and and I really don't understand why. Because at the end of the day, the fanboys who come in my videos and say you just hate Tyson Fury, blah, 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 he's laughing at you. He's laughing at you. And by you going out like the Garrett A. Davises of the world going out and saying he beats everyone. Yeah, well, he hasn't done that yet, has he? Right, so by saying that, you're giving him carte blanche to not have to do it. That's why I'm doing these videos. That's why I'm talking about it because I think that it needs to be said. Pressure needs to be put on him. And these videos, they do do good views, right? And another good part about them doing good views is that they get out to people. People see it. So people can say, hang on a minute. You know, the, and they can see the comments. They can say, well, people aren't happy about this. And that's why we do these. That's why they need to be said. And what Tyson Fury has been saying is absolute BS, right? I think he's doing himself. His legacy is going through the mud. What he did against Klitschko in Germany nearly a decade ago was very good. What he did against Wilder was very good. But you can't take those two achievements and then go and say... And that's what Fury... Amazingly, that's what Fury fanboys are doing. They're going around and saying, well, that proves he's the best. No, it doesn't. Has he fought any of the... Has he fought the Frank Sanchez's, the Makhmadov's, the... Uh, Frank, I was going to say Frank Zingano there, but he is fine. And Frank Zingano, obviously, he's not a contender. The Martin Bacolis, all right? The back of the year, Has he fought any of them? No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. And... Frank Warren comes out with this spiel that, oh, well, he doesn't, they don't generate money. Well, you weren't saying that when he was fighting Tom Schwartz and you were selling that as a world title fight, Frank. Now, were you? Oh, no, you could sell them. That's legit, you know, Tom Schwartz. I mean, he's just, the guy struggled, went life and death with Senat Gashi, for God's sakes. But yet you sold that as a world title fight and somehow he's more credible than a Frank Sanchez and Martin Bacoli? Give me a break, Frank. Seriously. This is, I, I, this has been a public in my opinion, disaster for Fury, what's happened over the last year. And I really do think that, I, I'm i telling you now, right, I won't, will not be paying for the Francis Ngannou fight under no circumstances, and I don't think anyone watching this video should. They really shouldn't. And I'm glad to say that I'm seeing a lot more people calling it out. I'm seeing people comment on my videos and say, I was a fan of Tyson Fury, but I'm not now. And again, this isn't me going around being like, I hate Tyson Fury because, no. I'm calling him out on his BS. His gaslighting is off the trails. I mean, if when Tyson Fury retires, he needs to go for a career in politics because he'd fit right in with the amount of nonsense he talks and the amount of gaslighting he does. He'd fit right in with the guys in Westminster. He really would. That's what I got to say on this. Absolute ridiculous from Tyson Fury. You know, to say that he doesn't need to fight Alexander Usyk, he's no longer a priority and he never was. And that he'd entertain it if he takes a small percentage. Well, he's already agreed to that and you still move the goalpost, Tyson. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. And again, the people who are out here, you know, claiming he's the best, this, that and the other, the Garrett Davis, they're enabling this. They're enabling it. And it's disgraceful, you know. And I got to, once again, when Adam Cattrall had Frank Warren on, and I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but Adam Cattrall's boxing knowledge is not, it's good, but it's not amazing. So he, there was things Frank Warren was saying that were going a bit over Jack Cattrall, or Adam Cattrall, I wasn't saying Jack Cattrall, Adam Cattrall's head. We need more interviews like that with Warren. We do. Because we need people calling him out, not like Garrett A. Davis, who was just like, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. Leave. Leave the room. That's my thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bit of a ranting one, but just when you read that, I was just seething. Let me know your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.